And now our focus shifts. It shifts from the snow that you're digging out of, likely still yeah. in the neighborhoods and your driveways, but we are shifting to some freezing temperatures that we just haven't seen around here when you factor in the wind chills. Yeah, it's actually going to feel like it's negative 25 outside, and that has led Governor Gretchen Whitmer to declare a state of emergency for Michigan. Local 4's Rob Maloney joining us now with a look at exactly what that means. I understand she's going to be following this order first thing this morning. Well, yeah, Everett, it, a state of emergency essentially puts us all on notice that we need to be ready. Now, the state says that it's going to be backing all of the local communities, making sure that they have whatever they need in order to help everybody. But this is sort of, uh, in many ways, making sure you yourself can be ready for these nasty temperatures. We're in transition right now. We're moving on from a half a foot of snow. It's here for now. Yeah, you put up with it. And while you thought you were ready, the season tests us all, including our equipment. Tim King worked up a sweat. Yeah, and then it's been like an hour and a half now. <laughs> so yeah, the snow blower did just didn't work out. And we all know it's best to clear as much snow as possible today because we know what's coming next tonight. That's why I'm out here tonight. It's, you know, 32 degrees or 30. Tomorrow it'll be one or whatever. And let's get real. We know there are things we can do to get ready, and many of us are not. I really feel for the homeless people, and, you know, I really wish they would have a warm place to stand a night like that, especially. Like, yeah, that's yeah. dangerous. And dangerous uh, comes with the things like frostbite and hypothermia. Let's take a look at what the signs of frostbite are. Loss of feeling and color around the face, fingers, toes, numbness, white or grayish yellow skin, firm or waxy skin from exposure. Signs of hypothermia include shivering, exhaustion, confusion, fumbling hands, memory loss, slurred speech, or even drowsiness. Now, I pulled those directly from the emergency declaration from the state. has a large number of things that give you tips or things you can do to protect yourself either at home, on the road, or uh, even around town. So you can go to clickondetroit.com and see that. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Maloney. All righty, Rod, thank you for the advice there.